Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to be driving from Grand Central Station to Stamford in this video. Let's do this. Sam not. So this is uh, Open Rails. This is a modified version of Microsoft Train Simulator, and what we're looking at here is a very old, <laughs> very old route. Of, uh, of the New Haven line which I also own on a uh, train simulator uh, 2020 or 2021 they're obviously gonna rename it to 2021 they just rename it based on the year but it's the same game but yeah here we go so I have the game paused uh, before we get started I'm gonna turn on our track monitor and then I'm going to turn on the driving aid, uh, the train ops, as well as the next station display. And we leave in exactly one minute, because departure is 10.37, is when we are supposed to be leaving. And I'm going to turn on our compass. And then we're going to go into our front view cab. Now this is the only kind of game where uh, I actually own a very good controller. I own the rail driver controller, this big hulking piece of metal that's in front of me. I do own this. Um, hopefully down the line I'll be able to get myself uh, my hands back on a uh, on a steering wheel and maybe even a fight stick. But we will see. <clears throat> so we're going to get started right now. I'm going to unpause the simulation. Oops. Hold on. There we go. Whoops, no, that's a pentagram. The pentagraph. Okay, now let's... There we go. We're going to that to reverse when it release. The brakes. Turn the lights on. The horn does not work in this simulation, which is funny to me. <laughs> so the pentagraph is up. We're just going to leave in only a little bit. All right. I'll be leaving now, so let's go. Alright, so our limit is 90 miles per hour <coughs> on this one strip, so let's just, let's just floor it. As we are now leaving Grand Central Station. We're going to be limited to 60 anyway. And we also have to stop at Hard on 125th Street. And as well as Fordham on our next station list.
give her some speed. That'll slow down a little bit. <clears throat> I knew it was going to tell me to slow down to uh, 60. At a point, we're going to have to slow down to 30. <clears throat> and we also have to stop at some point. Still waiting on my coffee to brew. I need a cup of coffee. I just woke up. So basically, you know, as, as soon as I wake up, it's like, I need my coffee. But at the same time, I want to record a video, you know. So here I am recording a video as soon as I wake up. We are still <laughs> We're basically still in this tunnel and now we're gonna be coming out of it in only but a moment. And there we are, we're outside, yay! <coughs> Good old Bronx! We left Manhattan, we're now in the Bronx. Oh yeah, that, even though for old graphics, yeah, that's definitely the Bronx. <laughs> definitely. It is the Bronx in all of its glory. So we're supposed to get to Harlem at 10.46 p.m. It is 10.42 in-game time p.m. So when are we going to get there? I oh, don't know, we'll figure that out. We got some traffic down there. We got Swift. That's an actual company. An actual truck an actual trucking company. <clears throat> yeah, Swift is an actual company here in New York. That's amazing. <laughs> Good old Metro North. I'm not gonna lie, I really do miss living down in this city. I used to live in Mount Vernon, New York, and now I live upstate. Um, way upstate. So, whenever I used to go to work, I always took the Metro North. So yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to stop here. I have no idea. Um, I'm about to figure that out right now. Uh, yeah, I am supposed to stop here. Alright, so we're going to stop here. Yeah, buddy, we're going to stop here. No, don't stop completely. I didn't clear. I didn't. I didn't get the whole. That's what I hate about stopping in this in, in Microsoft Train Simulator. 
there's no surefire like way to like really get the it, it takes a lot of practice practice in which I am not good at And boom, we are now, so we are a couple of minutes early, and yeah, so, we're going to wait, wait, actual, no, I didn't leave, I was moving. I'm still going to wait until 10.47 to leave. I didn't move, though. Can I open the doors? No, I can't. It's not like other train sims where you can open the doors. The doors just open automatically. And that's all you can really do and hope for is that they just open automatically. So we're just going to wait until 10.47 and then I'm actually going to depart until then. And then our next step is Fordham and then at the Fordham Mount Vernon East. So that's where we're going to be going. Is my coffee done yet? I really hope so. I need a cup of coffee. I'm serious. Yeah, I believe my coffee is is finished. Yeah, I just can't hear it beep because all I hear is a train's engine in my ear. So, be right back just a second. I need to get my coffee. Uh, pause. Uh, yes. Okay. Cup of Joe. Open rails. We good. Mm. Now that's a cup of coffee. Nom 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 nom. That's what I call coffee. I'm just happy to get some kind of coffee in me. Because, ugh. Lord knows I need some coffee. All right, so let's go. Our next stop, Fordham. We are going to Fordham. Yes, baby, we're going to Fordham. And we gotta get to Fordham at 10.53. So we arrived to Harlem, 125th Street, way too early. So we will not be making that same mistake again. We are going, no, I'm just kidding. If we arrive too damn early, then we arrive too early. It's better to be early than late, right? I'm not even going that fast. I'm not even going the desired speed limit. As you can see, my I'm going 28 miles per hour right now, and the freaking speed is going to con is going to tell me, oh, now I can go at least three miles over the speed limit. Now I'm gonna go a little faster because I'm going downhill. I don't even need to throttle on. The train is pretty much going to descend on its own. Pick up speed by itself. Yep. As I said, pick up speed on its own.
I just love how in this the the bridges go to nowhere. They're just bridges just to be there because obviously on the real track, the real route, you would see that the bridges actually go somewhere, but in this they don't go anywhere. And I don't know why, but that just I love that flare of <clears throat> imperfectness. I don't know why with these, with you know, an old route like this. It's so old. It's a free route that you can get. You can download this. What I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to um, put in the route in the description below, so you can download it if you want to get this for open rails. As well as the uh, consist and the uh, locomotive itself. And I can go a little bit faster here. I think Fordham is here. If I am not mistaken. Yeah, this is my next stop actually. If it's gonna, I believe it is. No, this is Melrose. Never mind. Sorry. I was just making sure. <clears throat> I think the blue bars mean uh, on the route is my next stop. I think. Because the one thing I've never done really in this is actually do activities. So I'm pretty new to, you know what I mean? Because I've always felt like I would suck at doing these. And now that I'm actually doing it, you know, because of the fact that I'm doing an actual series on YouTube where I play Sims, I may as well give it a go. <coughs> and do it properly. So, this is my attempt at doing it properly rather than half-assing it no one wants to watch a video series where you're just exploring the room yeah, there's no activity happening during the room I don't think anyone wants to see that in particular. I don't think I would either. So. I'm guessing that this platform is not where I'm supposed to go. The next, yes, this is not Fordham. No, it's not. So yeah, the the blue lines on the track monitor is my next stop. And I'm late. I'm going to lower down the audio because it's more than likely too hard for anyone to hear me. I'm, I, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, this is definitely my, my stop. Okay. I just wanted to confirm that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Let's slow her down.
Yep. So the blue lines means that that's my next stop. Okay. Good. At least I know now. Boom. Our actual, we're two minutes late. And uh, we got to depart. <laughs> like right now. Stop. 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 Why, why are you still moving? All right, now let's go. It was moving backwards. Can we go? We're going, right? Oh, I'm horrible at this. I am terrible at this. But, eh, I think I'll get better with time. The more and more I do this, right? Yeah. At least that's what I'm hoping is that I'll get better with this over time. So now we got to go to Mount Verdon East. That is our next stop. So this right here is the express, the, the express line. This is 100% the express. <clears throat> express, express, this is what it is. It's express. Gotta love express trains. I don't know what it is about these kind of graphics that gives... I guess it's nostalgia. But I get very giddy whenever that I do, you know, these kind of activities. When I see open rails in its old, old glory. I really enjoy this, this, uh, these old graphics. I don't understand why, I just do. Alright, so... Mount Vernon is coming up. And I'm almost done with my first cup of coffee for the day. Mm -hmm. I got two more cups, actually, of coffee. I'm definitely going to be getting up to get another cup soon. We are so going to arrive late. We are definitely arriving late. We have to slow down to 30. <clears throat> this is great.
Yeah. 30 miles per hour, we have to slow down. This sucks. With the rail driver controller, this makes it so much more easier, I swear. Doing us on the keyboard is a royal pain. So doing this literally with a controller is just like, oh, so good. It's nice, you know, to just be able to actually have full control over the train. Only thing is, I'm going to have to try and get this to work with Train Simulator 2021. And it does work with that game. I just had to install the drivers for it. It's a... I have to go on the manufacturer's website to get the drivers, install them, then get it to work. Uh, so I can use the uh, rail driver with that, with that game. Because I did buy the New Haven Line uh, DLC uh, for Train Simulator. However, I don't have the... Harlem route, which is the route that does go to Grand Central Station, but it goes to White Plains and so on and so forth in Westchester County. And I believe it goes to Pennsylvania. I don't remember. I never went and used that. I never used the Harlem route to go any further than White Plains, honestly. I never have. So yeah, we're definitely we're definitely gonna be late. We're gonna be at least a minute late, I would suspect. Minute late, whatever. They'll live, you know. <clears throat> it's not like I can do anything about it. I have to drive at 30. I can't drive any faster than 30. gonna have to drive at this speed and just suck it up. What are you gonna do? Alright, there goes our stop. My old neighborhood from which I used to live. Good old Mount Vernon, New York. Yep. Mount Vernon. Doesn't even look like Mount Vernon, which is funny. The station, in a way, yes, but honestly, it does not look like Mount Vernon. It's like... <laughs> it just doesn't. It doesn't look like Mount Vernon all that much. It says it's Mount Vernon. But it's not really Mount Vernon. <laughs> All right, let the passengers uh, boarding complete. And we have to leave immediately. <laughs> Because we are late. <laughs> and with that, I'm getting myself another cup of coffee. I need coffee. More coffee. You'd probably think to yourself, you must be a coffee addict. Well, who isn't? So, let's leave. Let's go. Come on, train, let's go. What are you doing? The brakes are released. Go. Move your big butt. Our next stop is Pelham, which is not too far away. <clears throat> Pelham is not too far away at all. 
That's actually extremely close. That's very close. And we are forced to, to drive at 30 miles per hour between stations. We were supposed to be at Pelham, what, a minute ago? Do you think that might be a little bit too unrealistic to, to really think that you can get to Pelham in two minutes? Did it really take two minutes to go from Mount Vernon to Pelham on this line? I'm trying to think of this in real life. But real life tense. Did it actually take like two minutes at 30 miles per hour? Honestly, I'm actually trying to consider this, and I don't think I can. I don't know, the guy who made this, he probably thought, oh yeah, he could definitely get the Pelham in two minutes, which is... Dumb. It's dumb. I find it to be dumb. You cannot make it to Pelham in two minutes. You must be out of your mind. Out of your mind. So here we are. We are now in Pelham. And all of its Pelham glory. I'm surprised that I can actually stop at stations effectively. I don't think I could. Eh, I surprise myself sometimes. All right, passengers unloading. 20 seconds, and we gotta leave immediately after. Awesome. <clears throat> we must leave. Next stop is New Rochelle, baby. That's a place I used to work a lot. New Rochelle. Oh yeah, believe it or not, I used to work in New Rochelle a lot back in the day. And I mean a lot. Thank you, Netflix. Fuss off. You know what? I gotta tell that my email to stop sending me emails while I'm recording because I get emails like non-stop I honestly do I gotta remind myself to do that the next time I'm recording again because all I will get are just emails Yep. Mong. There you go. That should be fine.
and I'm going slower because I don't need email notification pop-ups like every 10 seconds. I got a lot of spam mail. Mostly game deals and all that stuff is what I mostly get. So we were supposed to be in New Rochelle two minutes ago, so I'm going to be two minutes late. Eh, who cares? We get there, we get there, right? I don't care. Two minutes late. whoop de doo Hey, you were two minutes late. What's wrong with you? Actually, three minutes late. Ugh, you're four minutes late. Oh, I'm so mad at you. Oh, I hate you. For being so late. Waiting so much. Ah, you need to be faster. Yeah. You're a stupid driver. You need to be faster. Girl. I can only imagine that's how they sound when you're a little late. They get all disgusted and oh, you should have been faster. Uh, I can't believe you made me wait. How dare ye? How dare ye be late? Because I am late for a very important date, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, I got a real hot date in like 30 seconds. And because of ye, I'm going to be late. I can only imagine that's literally how they sound. In my head. When I'm a little bit late. <laughs> You're a sick man! Sick man! <coughs> it would seem that I can go a little faster now, but, um... Doesn't make sense to go too fast because I have another stop up ahead, which is Larchmont. I gotta go to Larchmont. Gotta appreciate this old, like, crappy style graphics. Come on now. Appreciate it. I definitely am. I love it. I really do. I'm a sucker for these kind of graphics. Don't get me wrong, I love brand new graphics as much as the next guy, but there's just something about this that this week's we go, oh yeah. Ugh. I love the crap. Oh yeah. something about it that I absolutely love. Alright, large months coming up and uh, we gotta be there at 11-11 and we're about three minutes late. Ah, who cares, right? If we're that late, come on. I mean, they're still getting to their destination no matter what. So what's the fuss, right? This is Larchmont. 
please stand clear of the closing doors, please. Boop, boop. Metro North doesn't make that. Doesn't do that, by the way. <laughs> the Metro North doesn't do that. Yeah. The subway trains do. In the city, do that. <laughs> Alright, uh, departure in 20 seconds. Um, sorry for being four minutes late, everybody. Um, I needed coffee. That's my excuse, I needed coffee. I needed coffee in my veins. Yeah. You don't like that excuse? Well, too damn bad. I needed my damn coffee. I need it. You know, that's just, hey. You need coffee, you need coffee. What are you gonna do? You gonna yell at me some more? Because I need a coffee. Hey, base me the culo. Shoot. All right, so we're coming up to a um, to a yellow light which means slow down to 30 miles per hour, which we are going to do. And we have our next stop right after that, which is Mamaronek. Yes, I don't to pronounce the uh, names of these stops because I lived around these parts. Mamaronek. Uh, Mamaronek is the rich part of Westchester County, believe it or not. It's the very, very rich part of Westchester County. Um, this is where all the rich folk live. Very expensive houses, very expensive cars. We're talking a little bit over the middle class because to live in Mamaroneck, you needed to be somewhat rich to live here. Because the taxes in this area are so high. It's kind of like New York City high. It's very expensive, the Maronek. I'm just giving facts. It's very expensive to live in the Maronek. So the heck down. These platforms are a lot more longer than the ones uh, in the city. Yeah. How in the world do you expect me to be here at 11.14? You, what do you think I am, Superman? Twenty seconds till departure. Next stop is Harrison. <laughs> Harrison. Harrison, yeah.
Now, I don't know much, any facts about Harrison. I don't. I do know facts about Rye, however. Rye Plainland is there, which has the oldest roller coaster in the area. Still a wooden roller coaster. And it's also the, uh, the park that I grew up in. We used to go to Rye Playland all the time. They had, like, the old mill there. The spider. And they would have, um, 4th of July celebrations over there and everything. <coughs> they have this, like, huge lake where there would be a boat out there. And the boat would be loaded with fireworks. And the firework operators would just go completely ballistic with the an amazing 4th of July show. I've been there a few times for 4th of July. And they never disappoint when it comes to their shows. Now, you know, the, 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 I don't remember if you had to pay to see the show. Because it was in such an open area. Because you didn't need to be in Rye Playland. The actual park. To watch the 4th of July show. Obviously if you wanted to go in Rye Playland. Yes you had to pay your way in. You know, it's, it's a park. You know. But. The 4th of July fireworks. I think. I think they were free. And I do remember. <clears throat> There was a uh, really good uh, pizzeria in Rye, actually. Damn, it's been such a long time since I've been to these parts in Westchester. It's been over 10 years. I can tell you that much. It's been over 10 years. And, um... <laughs> Currently, right now, in real life, I'm working on getting myself a car because I do want to... I do want to travel down there at some point, you know, I, uh, to revisit my old stomping grounds. I would love to go back to Rye Playland, um, and go back to, you know, my old favorite spots in, in Manhattan, Bronx, as well as Westchester County. I want to, I want to see my home, you know. That's all. I want to see my home. And here we are, Harrison. <clears throat> I think I worked in Harrison. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure. It's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a really long time. Did I work? For, did I work uh, Dunkin' Donuts here? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. It's been so long. So we are hella late, but who cares? Next stop is Rye, and. Actually, I am going to get myself my cup of coffee real quick, BRB. It is a good thing that OBS has a pause feature, and so does Open Rails. <clears throat> it's a very good thing, I would think. Port Chester. I remember Port Chester. <coughs> Port Chester, yes. Oh, yeah. Port Chester. I've been there before, obviously. Oh, man. This is bringing me back. Shoot. It really is. What the hell? What is this?
Why did he put the gu Why did he put the? They were so low. The towers were literally in the way of the track. Okay. <coughs> you can tell this is so old that he was probably didn't even look at that. Probably a rush job. Jeez. That's funny. And obviously the train is not going to collide with it, thankfully, because that would have sucked. It would have ruined the entire, uh, the entire run. I don't want that happening at all. We could pick up speed after this, which I'm already preemptively... Oh, but we still can't go any faster. I thought we can go 75. <clears throat> but anyway, it doesn't matter because our next stop is coming up anyway. <clears throat> Would have been awesome if the guy who made this actually made a crappy model of Ride Plainland just for the fun of it, right? I would have given him props for just for doing that because Ride Plainland is not too far away from the Metro North Station. It isn't. <clears throat> it's actually really close. <clears throat> it's very, very close, actually. Look at that dynamic view of the train is going. Whee! That is why you gotta love old Microsoft Train Simulator. Just for that alone. <clears throat> oh, I could have gone faster this entire time. I didn't realize. This is the reason why I'm late, by the way. I'm not paying attention. At all. But, hey, my next stop is right now, so, hey! Why are you so late? I peed myself waiting for you! Grr! I am so mad at you! It's a very short platform for ye oldie ride playland. For rye, for just rye. I love these uh, really simplistic models of the stations themselves. I really appreciate that. <sighs> Next stop is Port Chester. I didn't expect this route to be so long because I'm almost like this video is almost an hour long. Um, <clears throat> I'm not complaining though because I'm I'm actually really enjoying this activity. And this is a free activity. There's a couple of activities actually with this with this route. <laughs> now I don't expect perfection when it comes to you know passion projects but for something as old as this uh, original Microsoft Train Simulator route now being played in open rails this is good 
This is very good, in fact. All right, coming up on our next stop, very rapidly, I might add. Don't want to approach too fast, don't want to approach too slow. This is cutting it close right here. Oh look at that, that's the, that's the best way for me to stop, like ever. Yo, that's the best. I never stopped that good before. That's pro right there. I did that really well. If I can continue to do that, yeah. <laughs> All right. I got to perfect my stopping at stations a little bit more. It's a lot different doing it in, uh, in open rails or, you know, Microsoft Train Simulator. It's a lot different. <clears throat> it's going to force me to go 30 anyway. Cos Cobb. Now, I've never been that far in real life. Never been that far. Everything after Greenwich, I've never been. <clears throat> because I believe this takes you straight up to Connecticut. Which I've never had any reasons to go that far. Because why in the world would I want to go to Connecticut? Really, why? There's absolutely no reasons why I would want to go to Connecticut. What's in Connecticut? Terrible bagels. I don't want bad bagels, so I'm not going to Connecticut. <clears throat> Connecticut is not a bad state. It's a nice state. Hmm. You know, not not a bad state whatsoever. But there's also not a whole lot in Connecticut either. You know, <clears throat> I've been to Connecticut a lot, honestly, a lot. been to New York or I've been to Connecticut I've been to New Jersey I've been to Pennsylvania the one place in Pennsylvania I would love to visit is um, Pittsburgh Pennsylvania I don't know I would like to visit Pittsburgh I would like to visit the major cities in uh, in Pennsylvania as well as Philadelphia I want to get the I want to actually go to Philadelphia to get a and like an authentic you know Philly cheese dog with Philly cheese fries I really want to go there just for that just go to Philadelphia get get you know where it's where it's originated from I would love to do that. I bet you it tastes so good. 
just to go there just to do that. That's another trip I should do, actually. <laughs> go to Philadelphia just to get real, like, cheese fries. And go to Papa, you know, the Professional Amateur Pinball Association. Go there just to see the wide variety of pinball machines that they have there. Oh, yeah. We're getting even more later and later and later the more that we move. <clears throat> Seriously? How late could I be? Right? I'm so late, it, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts the mind and the soul. It just sucks that I'm so late. But at the same time, I don't care. I just don't care at all. Because truth, we are getting there. And that's all that matters, is that we are getting there. Oh, a little bit of lag. That was a terrible stop. What was that lag all about? Actually, we stopped on the station. Fair play. We're still there. What was that lag all about? No idea. That was weird to have lag like that. Alright, Cos Cub is our next stop and then Riverside, baby! We're making it to long trip. Oops. No, 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 not the break. What am I doing? Coffee's still not hitting me as it should. All I want to do is just put my throttle in a neutral position. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Neutral position, you know. Smooth sailing throughout this beast. That's all I like is to be smooth sailing. But late at the same time. Now I was supposed to be there at 11.30. We're nine minutes late. Wow. Oh my God. Seriously. I'm obeying the speed laws, okay? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to ignore, right, just to be a bit more early? Now I know why, tr like when, you, when I'm waiting for an actual train, why they're always late. It's because... They gotta obey the traffic laws. They can't always be early, right? As much as, you know, we would love to be early. But how in the world are you gonna be on time if they're like, oh, you can only drive 30 miles per hour. You can't go any faster than that. Like, 
tough. It's tough. Tough. We don't care. You gotta deal with it. We don't care. Ye gotta deal with being late. You're gonna have to wait for your train to get there. A car. <laughs> for real. How's that looking on the back end? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Cost Cobb is done. Just slowly mosing along. Why do I love that so much? I guess I'm weird like that. I love that so much. All right, here is Riverside. Small platform. Very small platform. Why are you stopping? Forget it, just stop. <laughs> I tell you like just I put it off a little bit and um, it just completely stopped. It act like I put the emergency brakes on and that's impossible with the rail driver. Honestly. You have to really put it all the way up for emergency. And whatever, that is the crappiest uh, platform stop I've made so far. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible stop. I didn't even clear the platform completely. That was not good. <clears throat> it's not good at all. Old Greenwich is next, and then Stanford, and the entire journey is done. We have completed the journey. After this. Ah, uh, yeah. Just down my um, last cup of coffee. I have Dunkin' Donuts coffee in the house. And honestly, it's good coffee. Six bucks a bag, but it's really good. And that's worthwhile coffee right there, man. Yeah, there's a Dunkin' Donuts in town. I can just go there, but... I can also just... Buy the coffee grinds, you know. So that's what I do. I buy the coffee grinds and brew it at home. The less ways I can get exposed to coronavirus, the better. You know, it's convenience. All right, here is Old Greenwich. 
and I am going to attempt to stop in the middle of the platform. Actually, that works out a lot better, to be honest. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. When I get to the middle of a platform, that's where I'm going to stop. Now, let's look at the back end. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Because these platforms are not that big. The consist is too long. Not my fault you've made it too big. And, uh, be right back, folks. All right, and let's continue. Last stop, Stamford. Stamford, Connecticut. All right. I really enjoy doing this route, I have to say. This is a very, very enjoyable. The one thing I always tend to forget is just how relaxing uh, playing old Microsoft Train Simulator content can be. It's very relaxing. I don't know, it's very therapeutic. I tend to forget this whenever I play. Enjoying these old roots. The nice cup of coffee. It's always nice. And if you actually made it this far in the video, wow. <laughs> I already know that people who find this channel is not going to watch this video all the way until the end. Seriously. <laughs> because no one has that kind of attention span. No one does. They'll watch like maybe four minutes and get the hell out. I don't want to watch any more of this. Goodbye. Not watching an hour of this. If it doesn't have ass floating balls in and and guts and stuff and guns and Call of Duty, I'm not really interested. What are you gonna do? This is a channel about playing sim games. Get out. <laughs> All right. Our last stop is Stanford. We are here. Yes. Here we are. In Stamford. Wheel slip. Excuse me. There ain't no wheel slip here. The activity is ending for a detailed evaluation. Uh, see the help window. F one. 
I'm going to hit F1. <clears throat> Evaluation. So activity MN, G322, GCT Stanford, Grand Central Station Stanford, to Stanford. Start time, 1036. Estimated time to complete, one hour, eight minutes. Like one minute, eight minutes? <laughs> what? Okay. So station stop, 16. Uh, debrief evaluation, I was unchecked. Okay, all right. Anyway, that was extremely enjoyable. I really enjoyed doing that. So, hey, <laughs> it's, it's, I really enjoyed it. So I really hope that you guys did as well. Um, if you got this far in the video, then uh, thank you for watching all the way through. It's a long video. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And the next time I'll be doing some more content, obviously, I'll be doing some more um, beam mg drive and i will be doing some more some more jalopy and even house flipper stuff and of course more train stuff and whatever other simulators that i have so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more crap that i upload to this channel i don't know <laughs> uh yeah if you really made it to the end of this video, I want you to type in the keyword. I want you to type in just, I don't know. Type in, I made it to Stanford. Yeah, there you go. I gave you something to do. All right, bye. <laughs> it's done.